Okay, we'll start with the opening statement from Coach, and we'll go to questions. Uh, um, man, they kicked our butts. We didn't deserve the win. Didn't give an effort good enough to deserve the win. Um, disappointed in that because uh, uh, staff did an unbelievable job of um, putting together what I thought was a game plan that would give us a chance. But when the other team runs faster than you and uh, on every possession and cuts harder than you on every possession and um, has a little bit more fight and want to than you do, um, these are the kind of results you had have at you know at our place. Uh, we were able to take uh, Timberlake and Furphy out the game here tonight. They had 26 combined. Uh, that was huge. Um, at our place, uh, we had a couple guys who were able to you know get it going. TP and Cam, and uh, and here uh, they did a great job of taking them out the game. And man, that's like a with what Timberlake and Furphy did and what uh, TP and Cam, um, you know weren't able to do. That's a 50-point swing, so results are what they are. Jerome, why do you think this was a tough game for Tyler? Um, the defense, they did a, I mean, at, at our place, uh, I don't think the, the attention uh, to TP was as focused as it was this game. They, they you know, every time they, they made it hard for him to touch the ball. Every time he did have it, they put two on the ball. Um, they made a concerted effort to make sure that he would not be the difference in winning and losing tonight. Would defense be the, the number one thing that you say kind of held y'all back tonight? Well, yeah, in the second half when they shoot 50% and 55, 56 from three, you'd say, you know, we didn't really guard, you know, the way we're capable of. I, I just, it wasn't the, the, it was the effort. The effort is the thing that held us back tonight. Tyler, for you, just a bit of a struggle there, especially in the first half throughout the game. Just what was going wrong for you today? <clears throat> um, just did a very good job of, you know, loading up every time I touched the ball and, um, you know, putting two on my ball screens and, you know, making it hard on my catch. But um, walk around here like I'm the man, I got to be the man. So uh, it's no really excuse on my shoulders. How are you started off? Pretty hot, and then they were kind of locked down on the game. Did you kind of notice what, what, what changed and how they were hurting you? I, I didn't feel like I was getting locked down. Uh, they started denying me the ball, I guess, but I didn't feel like I was getting locked down. Coach, what was it about their sets, uh, their, or their sets on defense that was holding some of the offsets back? Um, they played harder than us. Coach, where do you go from here? Um, obviously, one game left. You've been preaching optimism enough. There's still opportunities. But uh, you know, after this, where do you take the guys into this last game? And of course, the we go win at home. That's what we do. I mean, that's what you do. You go get back to work. You go win at home. Uh, senior night. Um, have a greater care factor. You know, I mean, you saw how, how much these guys cared about winning in the red few uniforms on senior night, you know, and, and we, we got to have a, a greater care factor because we're in our building and we, we go win at home. And then we got this thing that called the Big 12 tournament, you know, where we get to, you know, there's more quad one opportunities there for us. So we, there's a lot of basketball left in this season. Um, this, this one is disappointing um, because I know how important it is to our fans, right, and uh, our effort didn't match um, what our fans deserve, right? The, the results may not always come through, but, but uh, we, we got a group of, uh, to, to, to put on a K-State uniform, to, to wear uh, the purple, um, it, you take on this ownership that, that I'm gonna be the hardest working, most competitive, um, gritty group of people that, that anyone will ever come in contact with. And we may not always come out on top, but it will never be because of a lack of effort. Tonight, there, there was, the effort wasn't there. And that, that's the thing what I'm disappointed in. Uh, in. And um, this is not me being negative. This is me being truthful, right? And uh, these, they, they have to hear it, right? And, um, you know, the world doesn't allow us to, 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 nobody pays for average, right? And they definitely don't pay for below average. And so this is not um, who we are and what we're about. For everyone, why was the effort not there tonight? 
I'm gonna give them credit for their, you know, taking it out of us. Um, but each guy got to look themselves in the mirror and figure that one out. Coach, is, there, is, there, is, there, is the head coach? Is there anything that you can maybe learn from this, or maybe behind closed doors you can you can build on going forward? Yeah, I'm gonna learn from everything, right? Wins and losses. I'm gonna learn from everything, and uh, you know, so I will look at the film, but uh, I will look at our preparation. I will look at, you know, every aspect of what we did. Um, did we give ourselves the best chance to be the best version of ourselves out there? And the first part I'm going to look at is myself and what I can do differently. Arthur, how frustrating is it to be hearing about effort tactically like this? What do you mean, to be hearing about it as my head coach? Yeah, I mean, just for that to be, to be an issue. No. It's something that we got to improve on. Like you said, I mean, we got to go out here and we got to win on Saturday. That's what we gotta focus on. Tyler and Walker, how do you rally your teammates to to go win on Saturday and then in, in the big twelve tournament? It's just about being competitive. Um nobody's gonna sprinkle fairy dust on us. Nobody's nobody's walking through those doors to save us. And at the end of the day, like he's, Coach Tang always says, we gotta look ourselves in the mirror. And um our back is pressed against the wall right now. And it starts with Getting the win Saturday, having some momentum going into next week. And um, like I've, I've said the last couple of weeks, it's just like emptying everything we have left. This is, uh, we got to change. We got to look at ourselves in the mirror and change and find find a way to get it done. You guys were 10 and 21 from, from the line. Is that is that part of the effort issue with the free throw line or is that more of an environment? You just missed. Yeah, that's, it happens. Yeah, we've been a pretty good free throw shooting team all year long, and you know sometimes when things aren't going well, things compound. You know, and that that's all that was. Jerome, it seems like over the last few weeks, Cam's been in a funk, turnover, poor shooting. How do you get him right, or is that something that he's got to figure out himself? Uh, we we all have to do it together, and um, we we'll figure it out. You know, I know it's not a lack of, um, he's a fighter, so we will figure it out. Because we need Cam to be good, right? We need all three of these guys to play well. If they all play well on, on a given night, we can beat anybody in the country. And uh, when, when one of them is not hitting, it, it's harder. And if two of them are not hitting, it's darn near impossible, so. You know, it's hard to talk about individuals when you Lose, but uh, Will McNair had a, at least numbers wise, a pretty good game. What did you think of his performance? Yeah, I looked on the sheet and I saw that we had two offensive rebounds for the whole game, zero in the first half. That's that's the only number I'm looking at. Anything else for these guys? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.